Well, it has been a long year for our educators amid the COVID-19 pandemic, and it has also been a long fight for equitable salaries in one local school district. However, as Haley Harrison reports tonight, Nassau County veteran teachers found out this week that they will, in fact, be getting raises. When I was here for the bargaining unit three weeks ago, an agreement still looked very far away. But after nine months of negotiating, the Teachers Association and the school board have settled. Minimum salary increases for veteran teachers will now be more than $1,500. That's more than twice the amount the school board offered in the previously failed proposal. The new agreement also ensures that educators with 1 to 18 years of experience will not be compressed onto the same salary. This is truly a win for the employees and for these teachers, not only our beginning teachers who still get those hefty raises, but our veterans who are being acknowledged by the school board now. NASA Teachers Association Director Brittany Wegman says the board told them the funding came from budget cuts and collapsing positions. The tentative agreement will cost the Nassau County School Board $650,000. We're trying to do the best we can with what we have. However, the Nassau Educational Support Personnel Association is still negotiating raises for other district employees, such as custodians and bus drivers like Patsy Webb. Well, right now it's really hard because we're short staffed. We don't have enough drivers. We're, we're doing everything we can to keep the district running and we're not getting anything extra. Webb, who has worked with the district for more than 30 years, says she would make less than $1 a day extra with the one-step raise the school board is currently offering. First Coast News reached out to board president Donna Martin Wednesday afternoon, but did not hear back. In Nassau County, Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.